All right, this is our first attempt at a video. So here we have a 2013 Ford Edge. As you see, uh, subframes on the floor, engines on the stand, uh, came in with a bad engine. We got an engine out of the wrecking yard. Um, I had to change the timing cover over because uh, of the motor mount here was different. So everybody knows that these are no keyway designed uh, crank pulleys. So we had to get the tool, uh, holding tool, which is fine and dandy, but anybody who knows that they've ordered one off of Amazon knows zero instructions, zero paperwork. You're kind of just, you know, figuring it out. So I'm gonna run through this real quick. Uh, I already started putting it back together, but in order to get this cam plate on, you need an R&R, the vacuum pump. I'm sorry, this isn't the vacuum pump, the vacuum pump here, and you need an R&R, the high pressure fuel pump housing, uh, because the slots in the cams here, and as you see, this is the vacuum pump drive. I already put that back on. It goes in like yay. Terrible at this camera. The crank plug, I already put the bracket back on right here. I'll show you guys what that looks like here in a second. This bracket has got a protruding bolt hole for this knob so you could screw it in. It goes right into a valve cover hole, really nice. This piece here is just to lock down one of the cams. I didn't use it because I had access to both. This is the plug for the crankshaft. Um, you, once it's in, you can turn it counterclockwise, but you can't turn it clockwise. And here are these dealies here. What I'm gonna show you are for the crank sensor and the balancer and tone ring alignment. So that plug, remember, you gotta pull the axle and the axle bracket when it's in the car. Uh, you don't gotta pull it, the whole subframe down to do this. Anyways, you see the paint marks, but there's a dot where it lines up. And this tool here, kind of, I thought it was just extra plastic, honestly, snaps over your crank sensor and it marks which gear you need. So that's gonna line up this piece here. I did use it, but I wasn't really too fond of it. Um, bolts this pedestal bol bolts up behind it and this long allen bolt bolts through it and it bolts on one of the bolt holes for the cam or i'm sorry for the crank sensor here and it or, and it locks into the balancer um I, like i said i had access to everything and uh almost forgot it does have the flywheel lock once the starter's out uh, starter is easier to get to with the intake off of it once again if it's in the car it'll be a tough time to get that in there uh, so and then once you got all that stuff locked in plug in the back cams in the back oh let me mention one more thing the cam cap in the back when you take it off to get that tool in you got to pull these little dowels out uh, if you're lucky, they come out on your cam cap. Uh, I was not lucky. Uh, some vice grip and a screw, a little bit of PB blaster. Shout out to PB. And it popped out. So, bang there, flywheel holder there, um, angle torque wrench and strap wrench to hold your pulley because you got to replace this crank bolt every time. Throw away bolt. Uh, I forget the torque you obviously want to look it up for your application uh, 90 degrees at the end uh, but yeah super pain in the butt uh, I did replace the crank seal behind this because I did not want to have any issues after the fact um, like I said I'm doing the engine on this uh, if you're doing anything in the front here or if you're like some guys who take this off to replace a seal and don't know um, like I said, pulley, chain, and crankshaft all have to be in time. So, 
uh, like I said, first video, two, 2013 Edge. We'll see, uh, hopefully if this helps anybody. I don't remember the name of the tool that we got, but it came in a blue box, Amazon, a couple days. Looks like that. Like I said, hopefully this helps out people with the kit, with the tools. Uh, and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see you guys next time.